Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and this is where I talk about the bookish things that I love. So, I am so nervous about this video because I am finally gonna read Credence by Penelope Douglas. Um, I read Birthday Girl in a reading vlog um, back in January, early January I think is when I post that video. I really enjoyed it. I was surprised, but that was my first Penelope Douglas book and it was the one that everyone recommended like reading first. Well, I'm gonna read Credence now, which I'm so nervous about. Um, Penelope Douglas is known for writing very taboo books. Um, Birthday Girl is about a girl who falls in love with her boyfriend's dad. Um, and so I, Credence is even more taboo. I don't really even know what it's about. The only thing I know is that there's a girl whose parents die and her uncle who lives in like a remote part of like Utah or Michigan or somewhere like where, there, where there's lots of snow and like um remote they take he takes custody of her um as her like guardian and he's like not blood related to her he's like a uncle-in-law or something and he has two sons and she moves there and lives with them and they get like snowed in and can't leave and they live in this like remote cabin in the woods and she has a sexual relationship with all three of them I think <laughs> so that is like all I know about this book I am intrigued I am nervous I am nervous <laughs> and I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna go I don't know if I'm gonna love this I don't know if I'm gonna be just like horrified we'll see um I hope I like it I know that a lot of people were really surprised that they liked it so I mean she made me like birthday girl and I've I've read some more taboo books since then I've been getting better about it Katie Robert is like a new favorite um so we'll see <laughs> but that's that's what this vlog's gonna be so I haven't started yet um so I'll let you know when I start and what my initial thoughts are um, okay so I just finished the first chapter um while putting on my makeup I have a live show tonight and so what happened is her parents killed themselves um in the first chapter her she like it starts with her finding her parents dead bodies hang on I'm gonna put you on my trip um so she found her parents like dead bodies they had killed themselves and her she finds out that her dad had cancer and didn't tell her and that her mom her dad had like terminal cancer and was told that he was gonna die within the year and so there her mom not wanting to live a minute without her dad killed they killed themselves together in like a suicide pact in each other's arms without telling their daughter without having any concern for her their daughter and without leaving their daughter a note so I have the feeling that they didn't they weren't great parents um too caught up in each other to care that, about their daughter um and so she gets a call from her uncle who she's never met before who's her dad's stepbrother not I thought that it was the dad's like ex-brother-in-law um but it's stepbrother um so they're not blood related and he is her only living relative and her dad and him are like were like estranged but because she, he's her only living relative and she's under 18 for the next like two months she has she um he's her guardian now and so he's like, you don't need to come if you don't want to. I'm sure you're pretty good taking care of yourself at this point, but you're still welcome to come to, I think they said they live in Colorado, um, if you want. So he sends her a ticket to call it, like a plane ticket to Colorado. And it's like, if you want to come, you can, if you don't want to, that's cool too. So she's like, I need to get away. I need to do something. So she packs her stuff and she's hitches a plane to Colorado. And she just got to the airport um, and she just met her uncle for the first time, her step-uncle. Uh, I think he said his name is Jake for the first time. And 
um, he is like much younger than she thought he was gonna be he's much younger than her dad he's like probably in his late 30s early 40s what I, it's what I think she said he is um and she's 17 so that's not that bad um, <laughs> um so that's that's all I got so far um but what horrible parents is was like my first thought is that like how can you have like how can you kill yourselves without having any thought for your daughter that's just awful um it seems like they were like celebrities or something or her mom was like an actress um and it seems like she was probably an accident and that they like were super caught up in each other that they didn't really care about the child um but that's still terrible I mean that's must that must be awful and to not like leave a note to your daughter either like wow what horrible parents I'm gonna continue and it looks like the two seems like the two cousins which she hasn't met yet are around her age or like a little bit older than her so they're probably like 18 19 so I if she does end up having a sexual relationship with all three of them I have no idea how Penelope Douglas is gonna make an HEA out of that I don't know at all which person she ends up with although I really hope it's not the the dad the, the uncle <laughs> um so although one of the cousins I mean if there are it's already taboo like if they she, she ends up with one of the the dads and I want to know do like the other people know that she's sleeping with all of them like I, I don't know I don't know um we'll see um I'm gonna keep going and I'll let you know um <laughs> I'm still nervous but I'm still I'm intrigued I'm intrigued so let's go okay so I just got to chapter five and so far we've met the uncle and we've met one of the cousins Noah who's like the younger brother and Noah seems young he kind of seems like like I don't think that she he's gonna be the one she ends up with but I could see how he could uh relieve some tension that she has um, and then Jake, the uncle, he, I don't even know what I think about him. He, we just got his point of view for the first time. And I'm curious to know whether we will get the other boy's point of view. Um, or if it, because we get Jake's point of view, that means he's the love interest. Um, but it's interesting. I like her. I like Tiernan, the ca the main character so far. She seems like she's been through a lot. Like she has a lot of issues. Um, she, her parents definitely did not care about her. Um, and I feel like she, um, didn't get a lot of love in her life. And so she, um, she has been spent a lot of time like on her own and so she doesn't talk a lot she doesn't like small talk she doesn't really know how to interact with people and I definitely think that that's a product of her parents like not caring about her so she never was around anyone she was always alone and she's like oh I'm 17 I've been take you think that you're my new guardian but I've been taking care of myself for way longer I then since my parents died I have she's I literally she raised herself she didn't have anyone else um so I think that that makes her a very different than what some of the other what he Jake thought she was going to be I think that he was thought that he was taking in this spoiled brat type girl who has gotten everything she's ever needed and her parent from her rich parents but she's never gotten anything like she yeah she has a lot of money she has designer clothes but she's fucked up and I think that being in the mountains in the seclusion is gonna be good for her actually getting away from like things that she was forced kind of to be to be kind of fake where her mom was like we need to have the perfect image and so she made her do certain things and I think that that because she no longer has to do those things she'll be able to like form more of her like own personality and her own like what she actually likes and wants to do so I think that that'll be interesting as that comes about but um I like it so far I mean I'm only five chapters in so not much romance wise has happened but I like the 
plot so far um and I like Tiernan a lot um I think that that was something that was good in um in Birthday Girl was that I was surprised with how mature Jordan was and how strong of a character she was she was very well-rounded and very um full full-bodied I guess as a character she wasn't just like one-dimensional um and I'm feeling that way about Tiernan also so I think that that is one of the reasons why I ended up like birth liking Birthday Girl so much and because it was they she was able to make it more like romantic so if Penelope Douglas can get me to believe this HEA um I could see this being a book that I love um just with how much the characters are um Penelope Douglas does character development really really well so I'm ready <laughs> okay I just woke up and I haven't taken my makeup off from last night so sorry about that but I made it to 50% into Credence and I have some thoughts so we finally met the elusive brother Caleb who was like gone for a long time and he like the the scene when he first like meets her was wow was that aggressive but also I was like sort of into it um she I'm really really liking the uncle which I was surprised about Oh, and Caleb doesn't talk, so that's an interesting development. He's mute, um, and so he is just all action, and wow. Um, and I feel like we're like missing like secrets about him, so I hope that we find out those. And then Noah seems like a fuck up. He like we're getting his point of view which is interesting because it like very much disproves my like oh we're getting Jake's point of view so he's the love interest but now we have Noah's point of view and uh, we haven't gotten Caleb's point of view but I think that's because he doesn't talk um so it would be like all internal monologue but I would be curious to see what he's thinking because it's hard to tell um so with Noah he we got his point of view and he like hates his life basically he wants to leave he hates his dad um he doesn't like who he is as a person like which was interesting so I I don't love him um he's probably my least favorite of the three of them so I'm kind of hoping right now at this point that she doesn't end up with him but I wouldn't mind he's a little forward but I wouldn't mind something to happen between them which is, I think it will but I don't want her to end up with him um and then um so where we are right now we just got to them um they have to be like locked away for the winter basically for like months because they get snowed in so much because they live up on this like big mountain and it's pretty far away from like the town and it's hard the town's hard to get to when it snows and so it starts snowing in like um in like November I think and then it snows until April so they're like fully snowed in and stuck just the four of them usually the three of them but now it's the four of them until April and I think it's gonna cause a lot to happen. Um, we already got a little bit of a hint with um, the boys, um, Caleb and Noah were uh, kind of teasing her and they were like, she was like, well, you don't have anything to um, entertain you during the, uh, during the winters months and Caleb um and Noah was like well maybe we do now um and then they like turned on porn and are like this is how we usually get through the winter and they're like masturbating next to her and then she starts and then it was just like a whole and then they started to like get together all three of them um but Jake the uncle he broke it up and was like no you can't do this you're a child and that was her 18th birthday so she's 18 now so shit's gonna get real um but I am intrigued I'm liking it I'm surprised how much I'm liking it um it's 
different. But it's definitely sexy. I'm definitely like, I, I don't, the uncle thing doesn't bother me. Like they're not blood related and they didn't know each other their whole lives. So it's not, like if they had known each other, if they had met before, that would be weird to me. But because they haven't met before, they're not blood related. And he, they're all like pretty young. Like Jake is not that much older than her. Um, only like 20 years. Um, <laughs> it's not weird to me, which is great because I thought it would be and I thought it would make me uncomfortable, but it hasn't. The three, like her getting with the dad and the brothers, a little bit weird but it hasn't happened yet so not weird yet so i i'm i think it'll be weird but it hasn't happened yet so i don't know actually how i'll feel about it um but that's where we're at and i'll let you know when i get a little bit farther and something something serious like happens because i'm anticipating because it is her first time so i think whoever does the first time might be significant um but should be good okay so jake the uncle was the first but i remembered um a scene from earlier where she was talking about how her mom had told her there had to be three before you found the one and so i think the one who is last is gonna be the one that she's with like forever um like the hea and that the first two are wrong. So Jake, the uncle, is the first one. And so far, I'm thinking Noah might be second, which means Caleb is the one, but I don't know. I don't know. But she's now currently with Jake. But then Noah, like, keeps turning her on, so she's, like, confused, but it's interesting. I like Jake so far. Okay, so I don't remember where I was when I last updated, but now I, she's been with all of them now, sort of. She had a threesome with the boys, Caleb and Noah, um, which was very hot for a moment there. Um, but then now she's kind of, she was like with Caleb and then Kate, Caleb like she got angry at him um and so she like ran into Noah's room for comfort and then Caleb got really upset by that like Caleb I almost feel like is a child like he's like emotionally stunted like he acts out like a child would like he gets angry um when things don't go his way especially because he doesn't talk he doesn't have much ways to like communicate he doesn't do sign language or anything you don't really know what he's thinking um and so they finally told you why Caleb doesn't talk and he was four years old and I just I feel like he's literally like stuck in like his like mind is like four years old um so it's interesting to see the father and the other brother like defend him and be like he's in love with you this is just how he acts he acts out i was surprised to hear them say that caleb was in love with her um so i truly have absolutely no idea what, how where this is gonna go now um but there are certain things that i'm like not loving like i didn't i, I don't love how much Tiernan like keeps acting out almost like hurting herself um like whenever things don't go the way that she wants them to or she doesn't like what somebody does she like freaks out and like throws like a temper tantrum and it just it shows how like screwed up all of them are like every single one of them all four of them are so damaged and just like wacky um and so I think the ending is gonna determine my thoughts on it but right now I'm like I like it like it's good but it's I'm not like 
I'm, I'm still confused on my thoughts on like what I how I feel about it because like yes the parts are sexy but then they're like there are some parts that I'm just like I can't believe they did that I don't like the way they did that so it's just gonna be like I have no idea I don't know what I'm thinking I really really don't so I think the ending and how it comes together is just entirely my thoughts are gonna entirely depend on that um because I truly, I don't really have any idea how this is going to go, how she's going to make an HEA out of this. Um, there better be an HEA. I'm pretty sure there is, considering it's a romance. It's supposed to have an HEA, but I don't know how that Penelope Douglas is going to get there. So it's going to be interesting. So I finished. And I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I... I'm glad with who she ended up with. Um, I'm glad. Okay, so because it's not clear who she ended up with, it's a spoiler for who she ends up with. So we're going to do a spoiler section. So I'll like have spoilers on the screen until we're done talking about spoilers. But I'm okay. So spoilers. I am really glad that she didn't um have sex with Noah um because I was worried because I know she like she had sex with the dad um or Jake she had sex with Jake um but other than the threesome she wasn't with Noah um so I was kind of expecting going in when I was told that she has a relationship with all three of them that she would actually have like sexual relationship separately with all three of them um but she's never with Noah which I was glad about because yes he liked her but I always and there was like more there was like moments but for the most part he was like the only one that really treated her as like a family member for the most part there were definitely scenes where he didn't like with the under the bike and stuff um but I was glad about that I'm glad that she ended up with Caleb and I'm glad that there was time apart between them because he bothered me um, in the beginning. I wanted her to end up with him in the beginning because I like that brooding hero type person, but he needed that time apart um, when she went back to LA um, and he went to the fishing cabin because he he needed to get over himself or his his problems and she needed to really deal with her own problems on their own and know who they were on their own um so i'm glad that that happened but i'm glad that she did end up with him um there are some dubious consent type scenes in it but I I don't even I'm not I mean like I didn't mind them if that makes sense is that like there were always t points when she even on the car when they first met um she was saying stop because she knew that it was wrong because he was her cousin um or she thought that it was wrong because he was her cousin but that was like the only real she was still like turned on her body was saying that she wanted it but her mind was saying no the only time that I didn't like it was when he was hurting her like when he was like going too deep and hurting her um but I think that that was like a turning point for him when he like realized that he needed to like not act like a child and get angry about things and like blow up when he didn't like something going on um i have no clue what i'm gonna give it like rating wise um but
I, I don't, but I did enjoy it. So it's definitely not like one, two star. It's definitely, I would say probably like four, maybe even four and a half. Not quite five stars. I liked, I definitely liked Birthday Girl better than this one. Um, but I still liked this one. It was just more complex than Birthday Girl. Um, Birthday Girl, yes, it was slightly taboo. Um, but the emotions were strong in that one and it ended up being incredibly romantic and the guy, the father in that one having a very, um, estranged relationship with his son and then her prop Jordan's problems with the re relationship with the son where it wasn't even really a relationship anymore. Like it, it was a set like standard taboo romance. This one is much more complex because all four of them are so fucked up that for m literally 70 five-ish percent of the book you don't even know who she's gonna end up with um so it's just so, so, so much more of like a complex concept that it's hard to know exactly how I feel about it I think I'm gonna think on it and I'll come back and give final thoughts because I literally just finished this book like two I've been filming for five minutes I just finished this book five minutes ago um I literally put it down and then started um turn the camera on so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and I'll think on it and I'll come back in a little bit and let you know my final thoughts and rating and everything so okay <laughs> okay final thoughts I've thought about it, it's a couple of hours later, and I have decided to give it 4.5 stars. It is not quite 5 stars, but I liked it better than just 4 stars. Um, I loved the ending, loved the way it ended. Um, that was so, so good, and I think it was the best of what it could be. Um, I loved the serious forced proximity of literally being stuck and not being able to go anywhere for months that was so so great and like forced proximity to the max um I really liked the characters and how um much about each of them you got I was worried that with four characters that I might not like get all of them and while I don't love Noah as a love interest I really liked him as a character and I liked Caleb and I liked Jake um Tiernan was a great heroine she's a little bit whiny there in a while but I understood it because all four of them were damaged in their own ways I thought that was really great um them coming together and helping each other and becoming like a family um even with the sexualness of it was that they were literally becoming a family um and even though the boys were like family like beforehand there was missing there was things missing they were a little like estranged from each other they weren't as close as they could be um and I think that the addition of Tiernan in there with them helped them become more of like a unit of the four of them together um I really really appreciate how unique the book is I have never read or even heard of anything like this um so I love the uniqueness of it and something very original idea I it wasn't just reading the same type of book over and over again it was very new and very original and I really appreciated that and it made it more of an interesting read um especially like for a vlog when I'm not just, oh, they got together, oh, they have a conflict, oh, they're back together. It was much more of a, I still, at 50% of the way through the book, had no idea which guy was going to be the love interest. Sorry, police car. Um, and that was super interesting to me, and I really, really, really liked that idea. So overall, really good. 
would recommend but definitely not for everyone and I can totally see why some people don't like it um and why it would be a polarizing book there are some triggers in here um I would check the triggers um so check trigger warnings before reading it but I'm glad that I read it and I think it's interesting and I gotta give Penelope Douglas credit for making me actually like that because the prom premise going in I was like so so expecting not to like it um so the fact that she was able to make me like it is fantastic shows her credit as a writer um so great that's it for this vlog I would like to do more of these where I like read books that are make me uncomfortable or like are taboo um so if you know any or you want me to read any of your like favorite books that are a little wacky let me know in the comments as long as they have an audiobook I will try them um but that's it so thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe stick around um really helps out my channel but that's it so have